Now, most people learn from their mistakes when things go wrong. They figure out why and readjust. But when you keep doing the same thing over and over and don't learn from your mistakes, that is the textbook definition of insanity. So, my title for Hillary Clinton's new book instead of what happened is Living in Denial and in Need of a Lobotomy. Hillary, snap out of it. Do I have to go through this again? What happened? You lost, he won, karma's a bitch. Sorry, Ma. Now you keep blaming everyone but yourself. We've had it with the poor me nonsense. And now add a few more enemies to the Clinton hate list. Now, Bernie Sanders, who by the way would have beaten you if the fix wasn't in with your girlfriend Debbie Wasserman Schultz at the DNC and your other girlfriend Donna Brazil sending you debate questions. And Joe Biden, Jim Comey, Russia, the FBI, misogyny, Anthony Weiner, Barack Obama, Matt Lauer, the New York Times for focusing on your illegality, and the Electoral College, a constitutional mandate. What happened? You lost because people don't like you. They don't trust you. You're arrogant and condescending. You call them names like deplorable. And you have the moral core of a jellyfish. And you wonder why your accomplishments aren't recognized. Your State Department lied and said there were no emails on Benghazi. You out and out lied that there was no classified information on your email server. And that you did it for convenience when we all know you set up a private non-secure server so that you and your girlfriends, Uma and Cheryl, allegedly doing State Department work, could raise money for the organized criminal enterprise known as the Clinton Foundation, which was nothing more than a campaign slush fund allowing you to take money from foreign governments and live a life to which government employees are unaccustomed. And when the criminality started to surface, the Clinton machine made sure the fix was in. Since when, in a serious federal investigation regarding our classified information, do prosecutors hand out immunity deals with no goal of building their case, doing nothing more than granting them protection from future prosecution? Since when are targets allowed to sit in on each other's interviews, then allowing the targets to claim attorney-client privilege and stop the questioning? Since when are is evidence like laptops, critical evidence, destroyed? And no grand jury impaneled? Hillary, you're good at it, and you are the epitome of public corruption. The fix? Your friend Barack Obama in April 2016 says there was no malicious intent on your part to expose our classified documents. Shortly thereafter, the Washington Post mimics Obama saying there's no malicious intent and our secrets were never in danger. And at the very same time, weeks before 17 witnesses and the target herself are questioned, Jim Comey writes an exoneration of you as a criminal target using the same words. Except malicious intent is not an element of the crime, folks. And anyone who tells you that a prosecutor drafts an exoneration memo of a target before the investigation is complete, has never prosecuted a case, is a complete idiot, or an out-and-out -out liar. And this week, 1,617 new documents and a total now of 627 new emails never turned over by you that paint a picture of a cold, calculated woman on the road to power by any means possible using our State Department as a pay-to-play. And the Obama and the Clinton holdovers, the deep state still at work even under President Trump, fighting to prevent the American people from seeing those documents and emails saying you, Hillary Clinton, are entitled to your privacy. 
and you lament that Benghazi hurt you politically and then have the unmitigated goal to say Donald Trump presents a clear and present danger to the country? Darling, it was under your watch that four brave Americans died in Benghazi. It was under your State Department that these men were refused the security they repeatedly requested. And you had the gall to promote the video lie, swearing the man who made the video, a First Amendment constitutional right, by the way, would go to jail. But then again, what difference does it all make? And you scold women in your book who didn't vote for you, saying you won't give them absolution, that they must live with the consequences. Who do you think you are, God? And a woman's rights activist? You? You're the biggest hypocrite of them all, removing words like freedom, empowering women, and making sure that you don't sound sympathetic to women's plights in Saudi Arabia when you were raising money there. Hillary, what do you call someone willing to give up everything she believes in, her moral core, for money? Attorney General Jeff Sessions must open a new federal criminal investigation into Hillary Rodham Clinton and panel a grand jury immediately and void the false Clinton immunity deals. Easily done since each one has been violated. Hillary should not get a free pass because she lost an election. Her reign was one of bold, brazen, in-your-face, pay-to-play corruption. It's time to stop this psychopath from continuing her nonstop stream of lies and criminal activity. And that's my open.